Hey everybody, welcome to our video solutions to Quiz 9. This is Spring 2023 Math 302 at Cal State Fullerton. And our first problem, we are looking at using the division algorithm for two Gaussian integers. So a quick reminder that Gaussian integers are elements of the set Z adjoin I. So these are all things of the form A plus BI where a and b are integers, and this i satisfies the property that when you square it, you get negative 1. All right, and so we've shown this actually forms a unique factorization domain, meaning we can uniquely factor things into uh, what you might call primes. Uh, and along the way, to get there, right, we had to show that we had things like the division algorithm and the Euclidean algorithm, Bezu's lemma, Euclid's lemma, etc. And so we, in this problem, we're just going to use this division algorithm. So uh, the way we figured out we could do this, right, we need to work out a quotient remainder pair. So to get a quotient, we are going to set up this quotient 7 plus 2i divided by 4 minus i. So this division is not actually happening in zi, right? This is actually happening outside of the Gaussian integers. This is actually happening in what we might call qi, all right? So these, it would look like a plus bi essentially, but uh, now the a's and b's can be rational numbers, right? And for those of you who know better, this is actually the same thing as qi with parentheses, because this is actually a field. All right, so we can actually do the division here. And uh, the way we work is we multiply the numerator and the denominator by the complex conjugate of the denominator. So I multiply the numerator and the denominator by 4 plus i. And in the denominator, it's really great. This is actually, this product is just giving us the norm of 4 minus i, which is 4 squared plus 1 squared, or 17. And in the numerator, well, okay, we have to do, right, we'll put some parentheses to make it easier to see. We have to do a bunch of distributivity, so we have 7 by 4 is 28. Uh, 2i by i is going to be 2i squared, but i squared here we know is minus 1, so this will be minus 2. All right, and then we have 7 times i and 4 times 2i, that's 7 and 8i's, so 7i plus 8i. So in total we have 26 plus 15i. All right, and then it's all divided by 17. And now we can break this up as 26 over 17 plus 15 over 17i. All right, now we're looking for a quotient, and the quotient should be in the Gaussian integers. This is not in the Gaussian integers. Neither 26 over 17 nor 15 over 17 is an integer. What we can do, though, is round them and we actually typically have a choice. Do we want to round up? Do we want to round down in each of the positions? Uh, we do have to make sure that the norm at the end is going to be small enough. And so the way to make that as you know, likely as possible is to round these to the nearest integer. So let's see, in this first case, uh, let's see, 26 over 17, that's somewhere between one and two. And it looks like this would be a little closer to two. All right, so this is going to be approximately 2 plus, and now 15 over 17, that's very, very close to 1, so I'm going to round that to 1i. So we know that if I divide, I get something which is close. It's not the same, but it's close to 2 plus i. So we put this together now. 7 plus 2i, then, would be approximately equal to 2 plus i times 4 minus i. Okay, so it's not a, a direct equality, but we can turn it into a direct equality if we fix it. We can fix it by putting in a remainder term. Okay, so we're going to need to have some extra bit here. So let's see, if I distribute here, I would get 2 times 4 is 8, i times minus i is minus minus one is one so this would be plus one then i have negative two i and positive four i so that's four i minus two i is two i 
So this is 9 plus 2i. Well, I don't want 9 plus 2i, I want 7 plus 2i. So I need to get rid of 2, and well, actually the 2i's are already fine. So my remainder is simply going to be minus 2. Now, in order to verify that this 2 plus i, and my it would be my q, and this negative 2 would be my r, is a legitimate qr pair, I also need to show that this r has norm less than 4 minus i. But that's pretty easy. The norm of negative 2 is equal to 4, and the norm of 4 minus i is equal to 4 squared plus 1 squared, or, well, if you like, negative 1 squared, which is 17. Okay, so since 4 is definitely less than 17, so the norm of negative 2 will then be less than the norm of 4 minus i, and this implies that 2 plus i comma minus 2 is a QR pair, a QR pair for the original dividend and divisor 7 plus 2i and 4 minus i. And there we go. So notice we stop here because the problem has told us to use the division algorithm and not the Euclidean algorithm. Euclidean algorithm, of course, we would have to continue on, right? We would uh, change our uh, divisor into a new dividend, our remainder into a new divisor, and then perform the division algorithm again, but we're not asked to do that here. All right, hope this is helpful. We will see you next time.